डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम एट चैतन्य स्टूडियो डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी सो वी आर एट दी बॉटम ऑफ द जर्नी टूवर्ड्स द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ आर जर्नी ऑफ द कोर्स ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट द पेपर ऑफ बी बी ए कोर्स बी बी ए रेग्युलर थ्री जीरो टू ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट वेर इन वी आर एट फोर्थ ब्लॉक एंड फोर्थ यूनिट आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अकाउंटिंग एंड ऑडिटिंग वी आर ऑन द फाइनल टॉपिक ऑफ आर पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट दैट इज ब्लॉक फोर यूनिट फोर ह्यूमन रिसोर्सिस एंड डेवलपमेंट दिस साइड डॉक्टर जिग्नेश त्रिवेदी associate professor narayana business school so dear students let's start the session so we are on fourth unit of our fourth block human resources and development let's check upon the learning objectives of this final interesting topic how hr can be used as a strategic activity the first objective how we can manage changes happened throughout the organization along with stress management the biggest problem post pandemic succession planning i'll give you a very related example when we discuss this how to manage compensation obviously an interesting part for the workers or employees trade unions and wor workers how they'll make sure that wpm would become efficient one for the organization so let's start a topic human resource development so when we talk about development of human resource it is something consistently going on process staffing development compensation followed by safety health and labor relation so first you have to bring people na that is first part then you keep on providing better input towards them and make sure that they'll practice the same so what happen they'll get developed now once they'll get developed they start working so you start getting output from them and once output are proper they are expecting the rewards compensation now while people are working we should make sure they'll be happy as well as safe only happiness want count if they are not safe and healthy so that parameters to be look upon and the final one where even spending so many years in the system people keep on creating problematic issues that is people do fight internally people do not possess good interpersonal relationship within an organization as well as outside organization but that should be there so when you summing up all these it becomes a development of human resources or we can say hrd now let's check what our great scholars are saying upon this leonard nadler the one who has given the definition of hrd in 1970s almost 50 years back it's a series of organized activities conducted within a specialized time and designed to produce behavioral changes so it's an activity which is 
organized and for a specific time bound it keep going on with an objective that you are going to produce certain level of output then that's called human resource development leonard nadler if we look upon what south pacific commission has said it is something which equipping people with relevant skills to have a healthy and satisfying life life which means life in your company over here they are talking about working life not your life because it depends upon so many other factors like your family here they are talking about that when company teaches you some relevant skill set ultimately it makes your life easy at workplace concept of human resource development is it's to acquire and improve skills first acquire if you don't have and if you have it just keep on sharpening better it develops the general capacities as individuals and help them to discover their own potential for their own development it is somewhat similar to self enlightenment खुद को पता चलता है ना कहीं पे कुछ जगह पे थोड़ा ज्यादा इन्वॉल्व होके दैट व्हाट्स बेस्ड फॉर मी फॉर व्हाट पर्टिकुलर स्टफ आई एम देयर ऑलवेज एंड आई कैन हैंडल विदाउट एनी डिफिकल्टी दैट्स यू आर स्पेशल एट सो एच आर डी इज हेल्पिंग यू टू डेवलप योर जनरल कैपेबिलिटीज and you will get an idea that what's my real talent what's my initial actual potential kaun sa aisa kaam hai jo aap mujhe karne ke liye doge aur main bahut badhiya tarike se kar lunga unfortunately kafi logo ko ye nahi pata hota it helps in development of an organizational culture in which the relations between supervisor and subordinates become strong through teamwork and collaboration दो समझदार लोग होंगे तो फाइट कम होगी आर्ग्यूमेंट कम होगा और कोई चीज पे कंसेंसस जल्दी आ जाएगा राइट आई होप यू गॉट माय पॉइंट तो डेवलपमेंट का मतलब क्या है व्हेन यू से एच आर डी विच मीन्स यू आर डेवलपिंग योर पीपल व्हेन पीपल गॉट डेवलप्ड दे देमसेल्स विल क्रिएट a kind of a culture you don't find any unnecessary misunderstandings or hiccups among people those who are working kya hoga people tend to collaborate people tend to understand each other they tend to support each other and they'll work in tandem so that becomes a culture means not any particular team in a single department but across the company you can found people and they are working in team they are working in a group and they do understand each other and they are able to generate the outcome that is what human resource development is all about now what could be the goals of hrd the capabilities of each employee as an individual should be consider ab jab tak aap kisi ko sikhaoge nahi aapko pata kaise chalega ki ye kitna talented hai opportunity to deni padegi to pehli cheez wahan pe hai when you ask someone to participate to get developed themselves then only being a manager you will realize how much potential he or she possesses अगर आपसे कोई काम निकलवाना है पता लगाना है आप कितने बेहतर है तो मुझे आपको कुछ काम तो देना पड़ेगा वेन आल अलोट यू सम टास्क देन यू ट्राई टू वर्क अप ऑन एंड देन आई कैन विजुअलाइज दैट यस यू हैव सच टैलेंट सो दैट कुड बी द प्राइमरी गोल 
the capabilities of each employee in relation to his or her expected future roles should be considered. Pata chalta hai na kafi baar wo bacha maths mein bahut badhiya karta hai to uske primary ke teacher bolta hai ki ye acha engineer banega aage ja ke. Hai na? Ya bacha acha tod phod kar leta hai to bolta hai ye naya mechanic banega. Ab not sure. Every time it won't be working. But many a times it, it, it will go on right node. So what is this? Because a teacher based upon his years of experience got to know and forecast the future of that particular kid. Same is the case over here that when you are offering go kind of practices that is learning opportunities to them, what happens? People are going to improve their capacities which will help them presently plus people will empower in certain other stuff so that what happen in future whatever new roles and responsibilities would be allotted to them people would be in a scene that yes they could manage they could handle it so nicely that is the another goal the relation between employees and supervisors should be taken into account अभी आप सिखाते जा रहे हो आप डेवलप कराते जा रहे हो तो यू शुड मेक श्योर दैट डेवलपमेंट शुड बी म्यूचुअल इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट एक्सेप्ट मैनेजर ऑल अदर टीम मेंबर्स आर प्रो बिकॉज दे ऑल डेवलप्ड मैनेजर अरे नहीं मैं तो मैनेजर हूं मुझे डेवलप नहीं होना है नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट देर शुड बी अ कॉरियल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन मैनेजर एंड सब तो उसका गोल एक बहुत बड़ा ये भी है हेल्थी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन बॉस एंड द पीपल वर्किंग तो उसके लिए एच होना चाहिए डेवलपमेंटल प्रैक्टिस दोनों की होनी चाहिए टीम स्पिरिट एंड फंक्शनिंग इन एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड बी कीप इन माइंड इट्स नॉट एन इंडिविजुअल गेम एनी मोर नाव डेज यू हैव टू वर्क इन टीम you have to have a very good team player in order to perform otherwise people will not consider you and what different level of functions are there so accordingly how functioning would be different so that should also be keep in mind the overall health and self renewing capabilities will increase the capacity of all stakeholders should be included it's not about employees it it's also about workers it's not about permanent it's about temporary also so you keep in mind the overall mutual benefits of people working at different level not at one end only now what are the core features of hrd here the emphasis is on development and how we can better utilize the individuals obviously towards organization's interest hrd stress is on developing relationship based upon help trust and co confidence now what happen when you try to build a relationship which is purely based upon trust and confidence it will go for a long period of time it tries to develop competencies at organizational level and stresses on providing healthy climate to develop in future also so they'll develop competencies which cannot be copied easily by others all these sub systems are interrelated and interwoven means the way people are working with one another irrespective of department irrespective of team or branch you are working for the company you are working for the organization please keep that thing in mind what's the aim to develop an organizational culture in which there are good senior subordinate relations and motivation see again what we have repeated so many times that hrd is all about to foster a culture where it's a learning environment and learning would be mutual how good relationship between two sides then learning would be interesting people will learn 
most of the things from each other rather than some outside party. These are the benefits if we consider people will become more competent, you can develop new skill set, knowledge and attitude among different people of the company. It will also ensure that people become more committed towards their job. HRD contributes towards overall growth of the employees and also improves the team spirit. Company always comes first and second, you can work nicely in a team by showcasing a proper level of team spirit. It helps in objective collection of data related to various employee programs and facilitates better human resource planning. You will collect data through HRD and data will have a sufficient crux like you mean to say it is a valid data. You can utilize that data for your perspective and this data will go before human resource planning analyst. So, HRP specialist will utilize this data for the benefit of entire organization. Now, how it is considered to be strategic in HRM? So, organization can have cost effective way to engage labor as part of competitive advantage. Paisa bachao. It establish a flexible structure through which organization is able to meet the changing needs and expectations of the customer. Gone are the days when you have a rigidity like it will go from 8 to 5 or it will grow from 7 to 3. No, it is not like that. Slowly and gradually we are coming up with a kind of mindset where flexible structure would be there like irrespective of the traditional formats are available besides us, flexible structure would be there. How fast you can utilize, you do not have an idea when you are working the traditional ones. It helps to initiate organizational change in a timely and effective manner. Now understand change will only give you desirable result if you can utilize in time. Koi meaning nahi hai. Agar aap bolo ki market mein sari companies ne 2021 mein apna software change kar diya. Aap bolo ki badiya, hume abhi nahi karna hai. Hum kya 24 ke baad karenge. 21 mein jinho ne change kar diya, unko wo benefit milne 6 mahine ke baad shuru ho gaye. Other 21, 22, 23, 24, still they are getting the advantages or almost they have covered the market base. Ab kya hua? 24 mein aapne socha ki chalo ab hum ye naya karta hai. Ab ye naya nahi hai. Already logo ne isse purana kar diya hai. So it will not give you any output. Kuch impact nahi aayega. It helps the management to identify any emerging opportunities and exploit them in an effective manner. Matlab, aap ek opportunity offer karta hai ki bhai kya kuch naya kiya jai aur usko kaise better tarike se we can utilize those opportunities which are coming before us. Now, scope of HR department when we consider a organizational change. Let me give you one small example of organizational change like your company was working in night shift as well as day shift. But for last so many years, the performance of night shift workers were th up to 30 percent lower than the people those who are working on particular day shift. So, over a period of time you have a realization after consulting with the seniors, after consulting with the experts that it is always good that you will make a change which works for 
entire organization. So whenever you try to make some changes, you have to make sure that change will go throughout the organization. That's organizational change, very difficult to bring up on. And second, stress management, as you all are aware, when people don't have proper understanding, they keep on failing themselves and they will get trapped in stress. But when you have a confidence, when you have better clarity, when you have better understanding, then you can manage stress at your own. Then no different tactics to be required in order to manage the stress. Now this is what succession planning is all about. As I told you, let me give you an example. Pahle ke time pe kya hota tha? When we had kingmanships, kingdoms the, raja maharaja hote the, to unka carry forward kaise jata tha rajya? Then there would be yuvraj, eldest son, and eldest son in the line of hierarchy will be getting a role to play as a king in the absence of the real king right now. So, kya hai? Isko bolte hai succession planning. Organization mein bhi HRD ka ek purpose rehta hai ki when you are offering developmental opportunities to your people, which means you would like to make him or her ready for upcoming future opportunities. Ab sikha ho ge na, achha sikha na padega, challenging sikha na padega. To kya hai, jo log abhi kaam kar raha hai, after some time gap, if they will be living, a new person can overtake the same thing and he or she can work with proper efficiency. So that's what succession planning is all about. If you look at the step, identify the key position, then pinpoint key skills required for those positions, then assess your staff, kaisa hai aapka, then create transfer plan and then train your employees and last but not the least implement. So this is how succession planning is all about. Now compensation administration, paiso ki baat hai. So compensation offered should be such that it helps in achieving desired level of individual as well as organizational efficiency. Practically, sab ke liye ye kar paana thoda difficult hai, but theory always says this ki log achche se apna kaam kar paaye, utna paisa to aapko dena padega. Well designed compensation scheme should motivate as well as retain to best employee in the organization. Abhi ye bohut zaruri hai. Kya hai? Ap nahi char log dhund kya hai, charo ko training diya. Usme se do log achha nahi kar rahe hai, aur do log bohut badiya kar rahe hai. Woh joh do log bohut badiya kar rahe hai, pata chala ek week baad usme se kisi ne resign kar diya. Now, agar ek banda hi kaam karega, to you have to run the entire stuff again. So it's high time that you have to retain people. And in that compensation is a very big role, both monetary as well as non-monetary. It should also consider all legal provisions which govern the computation and payment of wages and other incentives and benefits to the employees. So consider that whatever we are offering, there will not be any legality problem in legality. We are not in a scene to face anything after offering things to the people. Good compensation policy should neither overpay or nor underpay the employees and should satisfy the divergent needs and aspirants of employers as well as employees. Compensation policy, agar aap bolte ho badiya hai, matlab bahut zyada bhi nahi hai, bahut kam bhi nahi hai, aisa hona chahiye. Now, Workers Participation Management, WPM, it's a labor participation 
or workers participation wherein it's a process where subordinates or employees individual or in a team try to involve in different aspect of organizational decision making they'll give their viewpoint they'll give their opinion and if it is proper it has been implemented by the management infosys is one of the such organization for many years they are using this wpm approach and what happened one one step ahead whenever they'll come across any problem they just mention the problem in common forum and then there would be a particular case or a time frame where people will just put the solution propose the solution of that problem and whosoever has given the best possible solution will be implemented and will be rewarded in public the degree to which wpm varies from mere voluntary sharing to actual participation kahin kahin pe sirf bolne jaisa hota hai log bol dete hai but actual mein fir unka kuch mayne nahi rakhta aur kahin jagah pe as i told you sahi mein wo jo cheez batate agar wo valid hai then people tend to apply and give them appropriate reward also so dear students here we have completed the fourth unit of our fourth block wherein we have discussed very important point of views of succession planning and wpm that is workplace management also wherein workers means employees both are equally employee participation management so as you can recall fourth block was all about how different type of information would be available how you can analyze that information and can be utilized by different people working in an organization so by this we have completed all four blocks of our bba 302 human resource management subject for further studies course materials are available with you and for any particular query you can mention that query on our recorded video and relevant answers would be provided to you in very low period of time with this thank you so much have a great learning have a great day thank you so much again